last year, I worked with the Denver Nuggets. And one of the first things I noticed, I was just like, wow, there's a lot of kids. If I'm at a WNBA game, you know, sometimes there's like a family room or people wait after the game to say hello. And it's not that there's not kids in the WNBA that hang around, but it's usually like your niece or someone's nephew or maybe a little brother. It's very rarely like someone's child. There's, there's only so many children of WNBA players in the league. Like if I had to count, it's probably like, I don't know, somewhere between like five and 10. It's not that many. Being at a Denver Nugget game and in their family room, it's like, all children and it's all children of the players and it was really wild because obviously as a male athlete by the time you're 33 you could easily have two to three kids and like it never impacted your career it's never even a thing it's not something they they think about probably why don't we start out and have you guys just tell me a little bit about yourselves and kind of what you're thinking for both athletes and i think Having babies doesn't like fit into a career path, right. really. So yeah. this is something I've thought about for a while, and yeah. I, in some ways, mad at myself I didn't do it sooner. But never too late. So I'm 38. This is my girlfriend Megan. She is 30 something, <laughs> and 34. <Boy. laughs> no, okay, I knew that. Might as well get this ball rolling. Yeah. In the event that we do want to have kids at some okay. point. So it's an, yeah, undecided. <laughs> yeah. Undecided. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Sorry, so, I probably should have okay. said that first. <laughs> The whole notion of freezing my eggs is actually something that I've had kind of floating in the back of my head for a really long time. I've had friends go through that process, so I've always known about it. I wasn't ever scared. It was just more like a little kind of like, eh, I'll do that another day. Our body is our job, so to, to be out <laughs> for, for pregnancy purposes, um, it can really take a toll, which can affect your career. Hi. Maybe if I did know I was like dead set on having kids from like age 10, it, this might have been a, a totally different process. If you're even debating it or thinking about it, freezing your eggs is the obvious choice. What is this do? Lighten that thing up. <laughs> we get in there. For, for any female who has a career, you know, it's, it's, it's to have the option. When a woman is in her you know, mid or late 30s, the number of eggs is expected to be lower. It takes more eggs to result in a baby because the quality of the eggs is just naturally not as good. So when you're ready, you can lay on back. Just on each side there. Egg freezing wasn't available to her at the outset. It has taught me and probably has taught Sue to talk to younger athletes to make sure that women are educated about this option and um, really entertain the possibility of doing it more at the outset. When it finally came down to, to making the decision, um, sometimes you just need a little kick in the tush. I'm in a relationship with somebody who I know that if I was going to have a family, it would be with her. So that also made this kind of like become more of a thought. Um, like I said, it was always swirling in the back. All of a sudden it was swirling in the front. It was really nice to have her along for the ride. At the end of the day, it wasn't difficult. It was just about sitting down with a calendar and mapping out. You have to find like two weeks where you're really not going to be doing much. For an athlete, it can be tricky, but luckily it worked out. But even for me, it was more like the anxiety and kind of like the buildup of the first shot was actually more like nerve wracking than the actual shot. Cause then you do it and you're like, oh, that's it. And then you like do another one and you're like, oh, I'm a pro. Like <laughs> immediately you feel like very comfortable.